Hey guys, today I will be trying out a new version of the Super Bowler's attack strategy. This version has the Grand Warden using the Rage Gem instead of the Life Gem to try to get a faster funnel. Um, so right now, I will start off with the Flame Flinger in the corner. Let me get a balloon actually to take out that cannon so I can put a Flame Flinger there. And I will put the Warden at the top with the healer. Um, so what the Rage Gem does is it boosts the Warden's damage um, and it boosts like all the troops damage which is in the aura which is that pinkish purplish aura and it also boosts his attack speed which makes the funneling quicker. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check that bottom. Looks good. Um, and what you have to do with the flame layer is you have to make sure that defenses that can hit it, uh, well, like, don't. So I'm going to place the Barbarian in front so that the Mortar targets the Barbarian instead of the Flame Flinger. Um, so that just a bit. Um, the Warden is doing well with the funnel up there. Usually near the two-minute mark, I'll just begin my attack with this attack delegation. So I'm just going to put in all my troops now. Um, Hopefully the warden gets the lord. Troops. Oh, I forgot to get that mini warden in. And what the mini warden does is basically it provides extra hit points for the troops because without the life gem, um, all the troops where who are in the warden aura um, don't have extra hit points anymore. And that can be fixed by adding a mini warden into the mix to boost the hit points. Um, so right now the core is getting taken down. And I will add another rage all the freeze to keep my queen alive. Um, a lot of the times I will use the royal champion on the outside of the base, like once the town hall is down, to just act as cleanup to take out the outside defenses all around the base, and I'll add my wizards and like, maybe a couple barbarians and archers just to help clean up the base quicker because the attack can only last three minutes and if you don't, you will time fail. Um, but now it looks like the base is crushed. Um, I have Queen and Royal Champion abilities as swag, I guess. I also have my Invis as swag. So it looks like it worked out this time, uh, let's see how it will work out with a different base. Okay, we have a Town Hall 16 here, it looks fairly upgraded, but there's a few holes in the base, so I think that I will use this to my advantage. I'm going to, I can't use a Flame Flinger, so I will use the Siege Barracks instead. Right now, though, I will do a Warden Funnel. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put in a Balloon first to check for, like, any traps. There's any. Nope. So, Warden and Healers in. And then... Oh, there's a lot of damage there. Yeah, so, the Warden Aura, the Rage Aura, does boost the Healer's healing power, but it's not as big of, like, a percentage increase as a rage spell. So rage spells are still needed with this strategy. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to funnel at the top with a yeti and the baby dragon. Um, so that when I put in my main group of troops, they will stay on the inside. And yeah, I'm not get distracted by anything outside. It's a waste of time. Um, and once the outside is clear, I will put in the rest of my troops. So how I put in my troops for this strategy is I put in Ice Golem in first because that helps tank the damage and once the Ice Golem goes down, it freezes all the defenses around it, which means that my damage dealing troops stay alive. So as I put in all the troops, um, well, I guess it didn't work out this time because the model is targeting the king. But uh, usually, oh, there goes the ice golem freeze. Uh, usually, the ice golem will help, like, say, keep that king alive. 
and well, this didn't work out. I'm going outside for the use of warden ability. Um, so here are the siege cracks. Uh, like the Pekka there, which helps. I don't know. Like give hit points and like uh, tank the defenses. What I'm looking for. Hopefully, oh, freeze. My troops will die. Oh. Or a tower locked on to my warden. Um, I will freeze again. Is that single target Inferno Tower is annoying? Alright, so I think that this attack will work out. Yeah, I think the base is done. Um, as you can see, I put my war sham later in the game and on the edges once again. Um, so why I do that is because. If the attack doesn't go well, um, I would like to have the Warrior Champ still there to take out the Town Hall's defense, which the Royal, uh, Champion targets. And with Diggy, the Royal Champion usually can take that out. Um, so it's sort of like a failsafe, I guess. Um, but that's it for this new version of Super Bowlers. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.